Irina says, Luke, what is the meaning of life in your opinion? Could you please answer that open question? Thank you. This is such an easy question, such a basic, simple question. No, it's not easy. It's not basic. There is, of course, no single answer to this. So everyone has to answer from their own perspective. And even when they answer from their own perspective, they might be in a particular mood or a particular point in their lives where they're answering in that way. And 10 years later, they might answer differently. 10 years earlier, they would probably answer much differently. So it's almost like to continually ask yourself the question and continue to give an answer is to build out this kind of crystal or gem throughout your life. So this sounds a bit cheesy, but the act of asking and answering this question, what is the meaning of life, may be in part the meaning of life because the answer to the question forces you to think about what you think is most important, what you think is uh, the most relevant thing to maybe happiness or finding satisfaction. Right now, and maybe I will answer this question differently in 10 years, and maybe you will answer this question differently. I think all these answers are valid. Right now, I think that the meaning of life is in the myth of Sisyphus. There's a philosopher, his name is Camus. French philosopher. And he wrote a book about, about the meaning of life. And I, the basic idea is something that I, I really resonate with. And I think it's very close to right. So if you don't know, the myth of Sisyphus is the gods condemned Sisyphus uh, for something he did. They, they condemned him to this horrible punishment, which is to roll a giant boulder up a very steep incline, up a hill, up a mountain. And when he reaches the top, the boulder rolls all the, way, all the way back down. He has to start all over again, continually, forever, for eternity, to roll the boulder up. And then the boulder rolls down, roll the boulder up. And you might look at this and say, how horrible. What a horrible fate. What a horrible punishment. But why are you saying that? Because what's different between Sisyphus and you? You go to work every day, you do your job, it's the same every day, you look forward to Friday, weekend, weekend, yeah, weekend, oh, weekend is over, Monday is coming, oh no, right? You are Sisyphus. Everyone is Sisyphus. We are all punished by life to do, most of us, to do almost the same thing all the time, to continually struggle. And ultimately, what is meaning? Where is the real thing that I'm trying to get to? Oh, maybe it's retirement. Yes, when I retire, then I'll be happy. Okay, so now you're 70. You're retired. You have a lot of money. But now you're 70, and you're retired, and you have a lot of money. So what's so great about that? You might have 20 years left. Eh, I mean, everything has this sort of positive and negative side. And you could look at everything as this kind of torture. So, what's the key? Well, Camus said the key was to imagine Sisyphus with a smile on his face. With every step, every push of the boulder, Sisyphus is enjoying the burden, enjoying the struggle, enjoying the difficulty. And I think that's the key. Because if you imagine life as this thing I'm going to get to, and then you're 70 and you have a lot of money and you're retired, you might find, if all of your life was building to that, that you wished that you had not only been focused on that when you were 25, 30, 35, 40. You might have wished that you would have really taken advantage of the moment, enjoyed the struggle, and not only wished for the future, not only prayed for the weekend to come. What's great about Monday? Enjoy Monday. Find meaning in Monday. What's awesome about the struggle of whatever you're doing? Right? It's horrible. Yes, I know. Everybody is experiencing. Kierkegaard said, everyone is suffering. And if you think you're not suffering, then you're lying to yourself. 
All right. So how do you find joy and meaning in the moment of that suffering? I think that's right. I think, in my opinion, right now, that's my meaning of life. I think that's something to really appreciate. Not live in the moment like go have a party and do crazy things and take drugs and don't worry about if you die tomorrow. But whatever you do, you're, you're kind of a cow. You're a beast of burden. And that's a good thing. Enjoy your responsibilities. Enjoy your struggle. Find meaning in your struggle. I do. That's what I try to do. I, I strive to find meaning in my, my struggle. I know that this is probably not what you guys want to hear from me. But you asked, and that is it for me. If you ask me in 10 years, I might give you a totally different answer. In fact, I hope I will. If I give the same answer in 10 years, then pff, means I'm just as stupid as I am now. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out the full courses in the links in the description. Music